13 News, Kansas News Leader. This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. Social security planning is crucial for women due to several factors that can impact our benefits differently from men. Carl Carlson, CEO and founder of Carlson Financial, is here today to review some of those key considerations. Probably the number one factor that leads to financial issues is, in general, women live longer than men. So, you know, the longer you live, the more all of these little issues, inflation, all of these things impact you. So, uh, you know, the shorter you live, then, you know, it's not as big a deal. But women live longer. I was going to so. make a joke about how I take better care of myself, but then that would, <laughs> the donuts I was eating yesterday do not, do not. <laughs> yeah, so, of okay. course, if we're living longer, we have more years of our life that we're going yeah, to have to pay yeah. for. What else is it about women that is a little bit different? So, historically, and on average, women earn less than men. We're working on that one. Yep, that's right. <laughs> yep. Uh, but, you know, sometimes maybe the women are more inclined to stay at home with new children and things like that. So all of those things add up to affect their Social Security because if you stepped out of the earning years for 10 or 15 years, then your Social Security, it's an average of 35 years. And there so. is still a gender wage gap, which yep. we won't get into that. Yep. But again, if you're earning less, you have less that you're saving or less of a percentage. So then your Social Security won't be as much as what a male's would have been. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that. You have to plan for that. And um, so those are a couple of the key reasons. Another thing is when you live longer, you're typically going to have more health care costs. So now, now your expenses are becoming higher, too, and your Social Security is lower. Uh, there are a few things you can do to help that. So um, one of them is, you know, you have, to, you have to look at, if you're married, a spouse's Social Security. So sometimes it might be better to where you could... So long ago, when uh, women all stayed home, men worked, the, the female didn't have any Social Security, they put into the system that then the uh, woman could get half of her husband's Social Security. Mm -hmm. Didn't take it away from him. So that feature is still out there. So you can do the calculation and just say, hey, would my Social Security be higher if it was half of what my spouse's is, even if you're divorced, if you were married for 10 years, you haven't remarried, you can still get half of what a uh, former spouse's Social Security was. Would that add on to your own? So if you are someone who's been paying in and collects Social Security, or do no. you have to, ch that's where you're saying you kind of have to yeah, choose have to which choose. is going to be higher? Yeah, okay. yeah, so if yours was really low, but your spouse's was really high, half of what your spouse is getting might be more mm -hmm. than what you were getting. So you have to look at things like that. And what about, too, sometimes they're delaying benefits or working in retirement that can help offset some yeah, of Yeah, that can help, too, because up until your full retirement age, FRA is the thing they call it, if you hear that, your full retirement age, that's the age at which you can take your Social Security and still keep working and they won't take any back. But up until until your full retirement age, your Social Security every year is growing about six and a half to seven percent a year. So if you don't take it during those years and you work a little longer, then you're getting, gonna get a higher Social Security, a higher Social Security. When you hit age of full retirement, for a lot of people that's 67, well from 67 to 70, it grows at 8% a year. Hmm. So if you can in any way wait until 70, then your Social Security is going to hit its max or its highest. And because you were working, you were probably making more each year. So your number of years of higher pay are going to be more. All those are going to give you a higher Social Security. And then how does that all, too, become part of your full financial plan in terms of trying to determine, well, gosh, maybe I should be putting a little bit more away. How much can I be affording to put away to combo with that Social Security? Yeah, because... Social Security, for the most part, wasn't meant to be your only income in retirement. You know, some people that is the case, 
and that's usually not enough to have really the standard of living you want in retirement. Mm -hmm. So when you're building your financial plan, that's when you're testing those things. Well, do I need to work to this age or what happened? Because that then, if you've got the right planning tool, you can change those things and see them ripple through the rest of your life. And all sorts of things that people should be thinking about, even when they're younger and knowing yep. what sorts of streams there are out there and who knows what's gonna happen with Social Security, but this is what we think about now. Carl, yep. appreciate you. Thank you for keeping all of that in yeah. mind. Thank we'll you. be back with your forecast next.